You see this sad, empty fridge? I really need to go shopping, but first, a breakfast burrito. The secret to the perfect breakfast burrito, wet this paper towel, lay it on top of the tortilla, and put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. It's gonna come out like a beautiful steamed tortilla. A little bit of enchilada sauce and some Tabasco. The most important part is obviously the roll. And I learned this from my dad who used to work at Taco Bell as a kid. Just scoop it in and bam, the perfect burrito. This is a God dream. So here's what I'm wondering. If it comes down to like there's one last Benacopita in the freezer aisle, who gets it? How do we decide? That's such a random circumstance. Also, we're sort of competing on who gets better stuff. Like I'm gonna get so much more produce than you. We get so many vegetables I don't even like. These are the best things ever. Every time I go shopping, I try and get at least one new thing. And today I'm gonna get hazelnuts for my trail mix. Could be a game changer. Looks like there was a bagel casualty. And now to unload to some Andrew Bird. Oh, it's still 11 a.m. I'm gonna head over to LES Skate Park. This is why I love waking up early. My goal for today is to feeble the rail. I did it once yesterday, really sketchy. I wanna get it clean today on film. There's nothing better than a smooth bike lane. Riding on those really rough streets in Chinatown, awful. I was hoping to put that 50-50 in there real casually like I did it first try, but that bail was too funny. Now my finger is bleeding and I should probably wash these pants. Other than that 50-50, that was a great session. Really stoked to get the feeble on the rail, the front board, and the tray flip on the pyramid, that was first try. Did not expect or deserve that. And there's only gonna be one way out in your soul. Battle of the Barracks 9. DIY laundry basket. Set a timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes and count. Now I'm gonna start editing my Paris video. I have so much footage to go through. <laughs> grip tape. Oh, where are you grip tape tip? This is my sweet mate Quinn, by the way. Hey, what and guys? setting yeah, up your poser. first cruiser. So how did it break, by the way? Taxi cab. How many times do you think you've done that? 70, 80. So Quinn left this out in the rain for a while, and as a result, check out these bearings. Open till seven. They, they just don't really work. Okay. You're gonna have to take it to labor. I do love my plain colored t-shirts. My friend Brett Conti, he's been in a few of my videos, he's a really good skateboarder. He's also the owner of Fortune New York, 
a really cool clothing company. He's giving me a box of his clothing. So let's just jump in real quick. We've got a couple hats. This reminds me of candy canes. Pretty cool. All white, Fortune New York hat. Green and black, five panel if you want to be trendy, which I'm not. These are pretty cool. Button up t-shirt. I think this is the same thing in black, solid. Last thing we have here, classic black and gray flannel. What'd you get? Oh, dude, it was funny. So those old trucks, he started taking them apart from the wood. Some Two live trucks. spiders fall out. No way. Yeah. That's horrifying. He was like terrified of spiders. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Congrats, this is awesome. You wanna go for a cruise or is it snowing? How do those shoes feel? Because those are not skate shoes. Yeah, yeah, whatever that. And just lift up a little bit and you're good to go. Oh, you're a natural. If you can get this hippie jump, five bucks. Oh, dude, you were close. Working on our manuals. Yeah. Dude, that was your furthest one yet. You got to like right here. New York curb practice. Right when your back wheels are about to hit it, just jump. Woo, Curb Master Quinn! Your next city challenge, you gotta jump off this little ramp right here. Lift up like a little bit of a manual and you got it. Yeah, so maybe go a little faster and just lift up a little longer. Oh! <laughs> That's what's up. These little ramps, there's no real practical reason why you should be able to do that. It's more just like finesse. Yeah. You know, like you could go off the flat part or you can hit a ramp. Have you ever cooked baby broccoli before? Here in the break. These are the plates of responsible adults who know what they're doing in the kitchen. It's good work. I'm gonna finish off my night with a little bit of homework and photo and video editing. Hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. If you wanna see my last one, Day in the Life 28, link is over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you eventually.